So well, that it's going to be taking a look at um, these air policy areas that have become a bit more prominent in recent years. Things that, that sort of go around, you know, interpersonal relationships and conduct in the workplace. Uh, it can be quite a sensitive and tricky area, a policy area that people might not necessarily immediately think of when they think about the policy. I've been in higher education for, I mean, coming on for 25 years now in total in um, sort of quality assurance regulatory areas, heading up QA teams, that sort of thing. A few years ago, I decided to change the way that I work. And uh, since then, I've been a, a consultant contractor um, uh, operator. And so I I tend to um, to go into um, client organisations, colleges and universities for varying periods of time for anything from, you know, from a, a week to, to do a, a very short term, urgent job through to, you know, no, a number of months or, or more. In, in my consulting work, I've done a fair bit of work on policy just recently. I mean, broadly, not just on these areas I'm talking about, but um, it, it gave me a, a first opportunity, which I've since built on, to, to work on policy areas in, you know, these matters of personal conduct and so on. And it struck me that, that um, you know, that it was a, a quite different kind of policy area that people might not necessarily think of. And I think it, it dovetails with, with cultural matters that have become very much to, to the forefront in the last few years. Mutual respect and the way that people relate to each other socially and culturally generally but in you know very much so in the workplace uh, an institution's policies they're they're an important statement of an institution's ethos you know and how they do things that's important generally but it's vital in in um, you know the area of of workplace behavior and culture <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we'll be looking at examples of, of some of these policy areas that are still quite new, such as um, staff-student relationships, um, you know, safeguarding uh, uh, at uh, um, institutional events, um, other areas that relate to interpersonal conduct, and, and how those link up with, with sort of established resources, you know, like staff and student handbooks and complaints procedures and so on. We're looking at some actual examples where this sort of policy has been relevant, how they've worked, possibly how you know they they haven't worked so well. Delegates are welcome to to just chip in and contribute as and when, and to make it quite a you know nice kind of a uh, free flowing exchange. If if they go away from the session feeling able to perhaps sort of reappraise their their perception of um, uh, of policy and how it's used, they're not just about procedural things. You know that they can be about. Um, things like the way that we 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 relate to each other in the workplace.